good evening and welcome to tonight's Skylark Soundbite. A few weeks back, FA and I sat down to watch The Social Dilemma. You may or may not have heard of it, and for those who haven't, it's a documentary that's recently been added to Netflix. It's an interview with some of the co-founders and kind of core leaders of a lot of the social media and technology platforms that we use today, but that's also juxtaposed against the drama of a family who use and take in social media and how it's a kind of zoomed out picture on how it can affect us and our families on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, what was really interesting was the science and psychology that goes into it and has done from day one, the notifications and the suggestions of who to follow. And they talk about how really truth at any point has the ability to be changed and to be bent and to be molded. Now, depending on who you follow and what, how you take in social media, that will be different for all of us. But it got me thinking about the truth of God's word. It got me thinking about how his word remains the same yesterday, today and forevermore. And how he thinks of you and how he thinks about me. How he loves and cares and is compassionate for you. And the same for me. That doesn't change. It's been his plan and in his mind since the beginning of time. And recently I've been reading a book with my two-year-old toddler, Soraya, that says, When God Made You. Now it's a great, beautiful story and it's a little bit long, so I'm going to pick it up in the middle. But as I've been reading these words, I just feel like God wants me to read them over you. He just wants you to take a moment to listen to the beauty of his creation and his love over you. You, you, when God dreams about you, God dreams about all that in you will be true. That you, God's you, will be hopeful and kind, a giver who lives with all heart, soul and mind. A dreamer who dreams in big and small themes, one who keeps dreaming in journeys upstream. A mover, a shaker, a lover of nature, a builder of bridges, you, the peacemaker. A you who views others as sisters and brothers and lives by three words, love one another. A confident you, strong and brave too. You being you is God's dream coming true. Because when God made you, all of heaven was beaming. Over you, God was smiling and already daydreaming. I just want us to take a moment and just say thank you God that you love and care for me so greatly. Have a great evening, speak to you soon, bye.